So is it getting a recall? Hi guys, my name is Asad and this is a channel all about cinematography, photography, we do a lot of tech reviews and things of that nature. Also I have a full playlist on how to edit using Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Desktop. So if you are interested in that, do consider subscribing to my channel and check some other videos out on this channel as well. Now with that being said, if you have been following Canon EOS R5 or even R6 news on YouTube, you may have noticed that although the camera comes with amazing features like it shoots 8K, it has amazing autofocus, like you know, it also have uh, animal eye autofocus. You may have seen some videos around that, how good that is. 4K 120 frame per second and all that good stuff. But, but it's coming with an overheating issue that's being discussed all over the internet. The camera that I'm filming on right now is a pre-production model. It's not the finished camera. But I'm noticing it's overheating a lot when I'm shooting in 4K 120. <laughs> Okay, so far we've only gotten through the 8K and the 4K because I had to cool down and all that stuff. There are rumors now that Canon is probably gonna come up with some kind of adapter to dissipate that heat that is basically inside the camera. And also some other third party manufacturers are coming up with some of the you know equipment or frame that are gonna be placed on out of the cage for this camera that you can put in on your camera and you know it's gonna help with dissipating off that heat. I think Tilta is one of the companies that is making something like that. Now with that being you know discussed and talked about all over the internet, I have seen some rumors on canonrumors.com that are suggesting that some of the bodies may be delayed delivery up till November. Again, these are not confirmed news, but just rumors. So what does that mean? And you know, is Ken gonna recall the bodies that they already provided to the market or people who have actually bought it? So that's a question uh, which I'm thinking. I'm still waiting for mine to come. You know, I ordered from B&H and it's still showing back ordered and not sure when I'm gonna get that. But you know, again, like with these kind of news going around, like, you know, when there are rumors around, usually there's something in the pipeline or something in works. So let's see what Canon is gonna do, whether they're gonna delay the delivery of the, you know, future models or like, you know, future, uh, what you call R5 bodies and I'm gonna come up with a solution to overcome this overheating issue again in my last video I mean I mentioned that it all depends how you're using it and then you can make a you know, decision that whether you want to go with this body or not like you know it completely depends on how you are gonna shoot so in my opinion I'm not gonna be shooting 8k for hours and hours although the camera is not gonna allow me to do that anyways it's gonna overheat uh and like you know 4k 120 frame per second again it's a specialty mode you're not gonna be using that for a longer period of time so is that gonna impact me i am still sticking to what i mentioned in my last video um uh, to me the way i use this camera you know if i have no issues in regular 4k mode i have no problem with that you know i can shoot weddings in you you know normal 4k mode and switch to 4k 120 frame per second whenever i have to or like you know if i want to take a specialty shot or slow something down i'm only gonna use those modes then so does that impact my workflow absolutely not right so let's see but there are rumors around and i'm i'm like you know waiting to get my camera uh, there are also rumors around that it may come, some, body, some of the bodies may be delivered in mid-August. But again, a lot of speculations around these facts and you know all of these are rumors right now. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this camera and like what are you going to be buying it for and overheating issues, potential overheating issues that are being discussed all over the internet, whether they are going to impact your workflow uh, when you are going to be using this camera. So these are some of my thoughts around Canon EOS R5 news that's going around the internet and my status like where my camera is, it's still back ordered again. 
I have no updates on that front as of now still showing that it's back ordered so we have to wait and see what's gonna happen with that also want to give I uh, want to say a big thank you to all of you guys we, we crossed thousand subscribers last week and I cannot thank each one of you uh, for you know making me reach this milestone so you know really really happy about that on that note I am gonna sign off and before I do though I really want to know if you are still gonna go and buy this R5 camera considering the overheating issues and the kind of work that you're doing do let me know in the comments down below and please subscribe if you haven't already do like this video and give me your feedback as well as I mentioned in the comments down below on that note I am gonna see you guys next week with another video so stay safe and goodbye my friend Thank mm -hmm. you.